you don't even have the experience of pulling guard against a standing opponent, you're going to have a really hard time getting into the position you want in, a, in an actual competition. But that being said, you know, in judo, it's no secret you get tossed on the ground a lot, right? You need to know how to break fall, and there are potential risks involved. But um, in your experience, which do you think is more dangerous, judo or Brazilian jiu-jitsu? Oh, man. <laughs> 100% judo. Okay. Usually, usually people transition from judo to BJJ as they get older yeah. because it's safer, right? Because you're on the ground. And so you, there's nowhere for you to fall, really. Like, you could get it. You could still get injured, of course. But, I mean, you're on the ground. What's going to happen? What's the worst that could happen? Like, as long as you tap fast and you're properly warmed up and, you know, you don't, you don't, uh, you don't let the person um, crank on the, uh, on the submission, then you, technically you should be okay. Um, but definitely judo. Because judo, um, as you get older, like, you know, a lot, a lot of kids, when they start judo, well, they're kids, so they don't have a long way to go to fall down. And, of course, kids are light also. They weigh nothing. So they could land on their head, and they'll still be kind of okay because they're still malleable. They're still growing. Uh, you still have to be careful, of course. But, you know, and kids yeah. have no fear. They, they don't have that sense of, uh, you know, it's, it's not a big deal for them to run around and fall. Um, whereas for an adult, like, man, falling, if, if, you, don't know, if you don't learn how to break fall properly, then, uh, yeah, you could get into trouble. And then from there, it's just that in judo, there's, it's the knees and the shoulders. Mm. They, they get entangled a lot while you're standing yeah. up. And also in judo, it's, it's because if you, don't, um, if you don't know how to accept the fall, and usually that's the problem with a lot of beginners is that they'll come in and they'll, they'll, they'll fight, they'll resist. And then if you, throw them, you pit them against another beginner, and then one beginner will entangle his legs into, onto the other. Then he'll try to force it. He'll try to force the, you know, the throw, the takedown. And yeah. the other one, who doesn't have enough experience to understand that, you essentially, in that position, your checkmate, you should just accept the fall. They resist. And then their foot gets stuck on the ground where they're, while their body gets twist. And there you go. The knees go. And then over time, let's say you get thrown. And on top of that, you, do, you make the mistake of sticking your arm out or even uh, like this or even just trying to post it with your forearm, your elbow, yeah. your shoulders are going to go. And people are constantly attacking uh, on uh, either, for the most part, most people are right-handed. They attack on the right side. So they're going to attack on your right arm. And your right arm gets pulled like constantly while you're practicing. And if you're right-handed, your right hand is forward and so is your right leg. So it creates a big imbalance in your body too. Like, so all the musculature of your body is like pulled to the right. That's what happened to me. So now I got lower back issues um, and uh, I got deviation of the spine towards the right. This shoulder here is all kind of, is messed up. And I got, I got ankle, uh, I got my right ankle is, it lost its mobility because one thing you don't, if you don't, learning how to fall, break falling is, is a little bit complicated in the sense that there's a lot of little details that if you're not taught correctly, you could get injured. So me, for example, when I was uh, falling, I was being thrown, and you get thrown a lot in judo. You know, yeah. that's, that's, that's part of the learning process. It's like um, in jiu-jitsu, you, you tap out a lot, right? Mm -hmm. And in judo, you, you get thrown a lot. So I was getting thrown a lot, and the thing is when you land, um, you have to keep, this is a thing, you have to keep your, your foot flexed. You know, I, hmm. I don't, I'm not flexible enough to pull up my foot and show you, but you got to, <laughs> if this was my foot, you would have to keep it flexed. Hold on. I think I am. Okay. There's a foot. There's a flexed foot. There's a pointed there foot. Go. There's a there relaxed foot. Flexed. What is relaxed? Okay. There you go. There you go. So you got, you got to keep it flexed because a lot of times what's going to happen is that your heels, your heel is going to smash into, smash into the ground, you know, when you land. So if you don't do that and you, you land enough on that, on, on your heel, okay, and your foot is not flexed, it's going to, like, give such a shock to your ankle that it's going to displace it, and it's going to cause, like, um, injury to your ankle. And then you might just think it's a sprained ankle, but, you, you know, you do that enough times over a span of, like, you know, four years, let's say, five years, then all of a sudden that ankle that keeps on getting a beating, well, loses, loses its uh, mobility.
So that's what happened to my ankle. And uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so this judo is the best is... endorsement for judo I've ever heard, man. <laughs> <laughs> the best what? The best endorsement for judo I've ever heard, man. Oh yeah, it's listen. It's a man sport, man. You know, <laughs> it's 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 a ride. Like you. You get like you know that's why I don't I don't suggest it to everybody like I talk about it in my videos but I'm like man yeah. judo you can get busted up so here are the ways that I found to you know survive and if I had to do it again this this is what I would suggest you to do and um, what else is bad in judo um, oh your knees yeah your knees they get yeah. entangled all the time especially with beginners actually I, I say that but it's a funny thing it was actually it was actually a, a black belt that busted my knee like the first uh, the first month I started judo. He busted up my knee because he felt threatened in the, in Randori. And I think this black belt wasn't somebody who um, who's like a high level competitor or anything mm -hmm. like that. You know, he yes he did earn his black belt, but he's not like the best fighter so to speak. And he felt threatened by me because he saw he he you know he saw that I was I was I was doing okay for myself. And yeah, uh, yeah so our legs got entangled and he busted up my knee. And actually, there was a second time it happened on the other knee, and it was another black belt. This guy was actually a good fighter. He was on the national team, and he busted up my knee because he's just missed, he's just crazy, you know. 